folks, uh, so uh, I'm sure you guys all keep up with the news. You're the it getters. Um, you remember how Trump said three to five million people voted illegally? And if it were true, it would be the biggest scandal in American history, but it's not true, so it's not. That little thing? <laughs> well, in the Super Bowl, Super Bill O'Reilly interview starring Donald Trump as a so called president, Trump addressed it <laughs> head on. You take a look at the registration. You have illegals, you have dead people, you have this. It's really a bad situation. It's really bad. And. So you think we'll you're going to be proven correct in that statement? Well, I think I already have. A lot of people have come out and said that I am yeah, correct. Yeah, but the data has to show that three million illegals Look, voted. Forget that. Forget all of that. Yes. Forget all that. Just forget. Forget the data. That's not the evidence you're looking for. Just forget it. And this is really bothering Donald Trump. According to one of Trump's own advisors, Trump has been stewing about his popular vote count for weeks. And I believe he's been stewing for weeks. That's why his meat looks so tender. <laughs> but... Oh, tender eye. Oh, tender eye. But the only evidence Trump has ever had for his claim is the Twitter feed of Texas businessman and guy whose first name is 60% the letter G. <laughs> Greg Phillips. So, what is your analysis, Greg? -g -g -g? Our analysis is what it is, and we believe that truth is truth. And if, if the president and his team uh, um, uh, believe the same is true, then, then uh, maybe they are. Do you have the proof? Yes. Will you provide it? Yes. Can I have it? No. So, should I guess all three million names? Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Aaron Ardman? No. Okay. Aaron Ardmore? Stop me when I hit one. <laughs> they still make phone books, by the way. <laughs> now, this kind of accusation is called, and I don't want to get too technical here, bull. <laughs> In fact, the largest investigation, the largest. Huge. Huge. Huge bull fans here tonight. In fact, the largest investigation of voter impersonation ever found just 31 incidents out of a billion ballots cast. By the way, 31 out of a billion is also my current Yelp review for the Trump administration. <laughs> and. Even though, even though Donald Trump says three million people voted for Clinton illegally so far, in the 2016 election, there were just four documented cases of voter fraud. Okay, could be four, could be three million. Okay, let's split the difference right here and just see what we could do here. Four times plus and divided, and that adds up to... Still bull. All right. Yeah. Oh. My calculations. So, despite the zero evidence, why does Trump believe there's voter fraud? It was a comment that he made on a long standing belief. Oh, he believes it because it's something he believes. It's like an article of faith. I get it. My wife doesn't believe there's voter fraud, I believe there it is. I'm not sure how we're going to raise the kids. We'll find something in the middle. <laughs> and yet, despite the lack of any evidence, Trump still tweeted that he would launch a major investigation into voter fraud. Okay, you know what a major investigation of something that didn't happen sounds like? Sounds like a case for CBS's newest crime drama, CSI, major investigation of something I read on the internet. Don't worry, we're going to solve this crime. What crime? When was the last time you saw your husband? Like a second ago. He's probably already dead. I'm right here. Tuesdays on CBS, and I'm being told it's already canceled. We'll be right back.